Dobar dan svima vama koji sada uključujete. Pratite emisiju Pop Kart kao sastavni dio emisije 5 do 5. Pop Kart je vaš vodič kroz kulturna dešavanja ne samo Crne Gore, već i čitavog svijeta. Danas smo za vas spremili jednu temu, jednu priču, jednu, ali da kažem zaista vrijednu. Bavimo se najprestižnijim pozorištem na svijetu. Pogađajte u pitanju je Broadway. Eto, ukoliko niste u mogućnosti da odete do Broadwaya, kroz Pop Kart Broadway dolazi upravo do vas. Trenutno su postavljeni stavke raznih sezona u raznim pozorištima, pa se to dešava i u Brodveju i evo šta znalci pozorišta preporučuju od onoga šta će biti igrano na Brodveju ove sezone. Hi, here we are back at beautiful Shade Josephine restaurant on Theater Row with our show about shows. And I'm joined by my friend and New York One colleague, Frank DeLella, and we're here to talk about the Broadway spring season. Yes, right, Frank? Are. Yes, we are. Gotcha. So, Frank, you get this question. I know I get this question all the time from friends and strangers. What should I see? Mm -hmm. And by the time that they, we, we tell them, it's too hot of a ticket. So what should they book tickets for in advance? What's the hottest ticket now? Well, we know the plays with the big names are, are always uh, the big hits. They go fast in terms of tickets and also the big splashing musicals. So that being said, Cat on the Hutton Roof stars Scarlett Johansson, who's a big star. I know and they're doing great at the box office. That is a hot ticket, directed by Rob Ashford. Um, Lucky Guy, Nora Ephron's final play, starring Tom Hanks, who has never been on Broadway before. Her muse, he's done a lot of her films. He's making his Broadway debut in Nora Ephron's Lucky Guy. As the columnist Mike McAlary, McAlary. right? The, the Absolutely. What else? Orphans. Alec Baldwin returns to Broadway with Broadway newcomer Shia LaBeouf. Uh, in Orphans, which has uh, always been an off-Broadway play. It's never played on Broadway. That's coming back. I think that's going to be a hot ticket as well. In terms of the big splashy musicals, we know Matilda is going to be the hit of the season. That's I think the Olivier Award-winning British musical, uh, right? Based on, based on the Royal Doll classic. Cool. Yep. And, uh, you know, right now that's coming in as the hit of the season. Um, what else? Pippin. A revival of Pippin, which, <laughs> which we, we just, just saw. saw right? yeah. We saw this in, in Boston at ART, directed by Diane Paulus. Her last two revivals, Hair and Porgy and Bess, have both won the Tony. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the strongest of all, the three of them. Wow. It's a revival, yeah, it's the revival of the 1972 Bob Fosse classic. Mm -hmm. She was smart enough to recreate the Bob Fosse choreography mm -hmm. and add this circus element. Yeah. She just directed Amaluna, a Cirque du Soleil show, and it mm -hmm. shows in this production. Absolutely. And I think that marriage of circus arts and musical theater classics by the great composer <laughs> uh, Stephen Schwartz, right? Yeah, Stephen Schwartz, best known for Wicked and Godspell and uh, other shows, The Baker's Wife. Uh, what else? Uh, Jekyll and Hyde, uh, <laughs> the musical is coming back. That cult favorite, Frank uh, Wildhorn, right? <laughs> it has that song. This is the moment that everybody sings, right? Starring but. Deborah Cox and uh, Constantine Maroulis. It's currently on the road, but that's coming to Broadway. The show that I think may be a sleeper, and I guess we can get to our personal favorites as we're kind of coming, uh, winding down this edition, is Hands on a Hard Body, an obscure documentary that has been adapted by Doug Wright mm -hmm. about these contestants who have their hands on a hard body. In this case, it's a truck. Mm -hmm. It's like this marathon dancing equivalent of uh, modern times in, in which Neil Pepe, direct, making his musical de mm -hmm. debut, mm -hmm. uh, creates this uh, music with uh, music by Trey Anastasius from Fish, from right? From Fish, right, who's, you know, hot. He has a big following in terms of, you know, uh, folks who like that kind of music, as well as Amanda Green, uh, the daughter of Adolph Green. And uh, what are you looking forward to? What am I looking forward to the most? So I'm looking forward to see how uh, Matilda does. I saw it in London. wasn't crazy about the show, so I think it's going to be better here in New York. And also, um, I'm looking forward to seeing Pippin again. I really enjoyed that production. And there's always going to be something that we're not, we have, probably haven't even mentioned that's going to come out and be the sleeper hit of, course. of, the, uh, of the season. Of but that's because we don't know anything. All right. There you go. <laughs> anyway. There you go. Eto, vidjeli ste kakva će biti ova sezona na Brodvaju. Ja ću vas podsjetiti da je i Crnogorsko narodno pozorište u Podgorici također aktuelno. S toga već jutra večer možete pogledati prvu premijeru u ovoj sezoni. Riječ je o autorskom projektu Radmile Vojvodić, Egzistencija i tu su glavni akteri još uvijek studenti Fakulteta dramskih umjetnosti sa Cetinja, Momčil Lotašević i Aleksandar Radulović. Svakako ovih dana ćemo već ugostiti Zoranu Kralje koja obavlja funkciju PR-a Crnogorskog narodnog pozorišta, te ćemo govoriti malo 
i o ovdašnjem repertoaru. Došlo je vrijeme da se posvetimo i novim autorima, stoga želim da vas obavijestim da je konkurs i dalje aktivan. Šaljite vaše radove na adresu novi autori etrtvatlas.tv. Tema za ovu sedmicu i dalje treba da počinje rečenicom dobio sam ili dobila sam pozivnicu, treba da završava rečenicom bolje da nijesam pošao ili bolje da nijesam pošao. Još jednom ću ponoviti, adresa je novi autori etrtvatlas.tv. Mi ćemo već u petak proglasiti pobjednika, pokloniti neku knjigu i proglasiti temu koja će biti aktuelna iduće sedmice. To je bilo sve što smo sremili za današnji popart. Vidimo se također si jutra. Do tada budite dobri, budite dobro. Ostanite uz kanal Atlas Televizije, emisiju 5 do 5. Prijatno!